Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. And here's the question that I would ask you. How can all paths lead to God when every religion has a different concept of God? How can they all lead to the same place if they're talking about a different concept of God? For example, in Islam, there is one God, but he is very impersonal. He's very distant. He's not involved in the daily affairs of man. He's, he, he doesn't concern himself with you personally, not in Islam. That's their understanding of God. In Hinduism, God is uh, many things. There are many gods, which means that none of the gods that a Hindu might worship on any particular day is all-powerful. They might have to switch over and worship a different god to get that other thing done. And so you have a very different concept in Hinduism than you do in Islam. In pantheism, everything is God. Everything is God. And so when you look in, in pantheism, when you look in the mirror, you're looking at God. In fact, the mirror itself is God too in pantheism. This is a very different idea than Hinduism and a very different idea than Islam. And you can probably guess it's a very, very different idea than in Christianity. So how can all of these lead to the same God when these ideas are in conflict with one another. You see, either God is personal or he's not. Either God is one or he's not. Either God is separate from his creation or he's not. It cannot be all things. God, by his very nature, must be entirely true. If there is indeed an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-good God, then he must, by his very nature, be true. He is true in what he says, and he is true in who he is. And so, if different religions see God in conflicting ways, then it is impossible for all of these ideas and conflict to be true. It breaks the law of non-contradiction. The law of non-contradiction says that A does not equal B. A cannot equal not A. B is not A. C is not A. D is not A. A is A. And so if you have conflicting views about God, then some of them, in fact most of them, are wrong. Why are most ideas about God wrong? Because truth by its very nature is narrow. 